to do a problem like this, what you want to make sure you have is hopefully to see this pink screen. Right? Let's look at the inner circle. If I want to evaluate cosine of negative 15 pi over 2, a couple things. When you guys set the unit circle, all right, remember if we start here, halfway around is what we call pi, right? Because you have pi radians around. Radian is going to be your radius. Wrapped around one radian, two radian, three radians. Halfway around is 3.14159, which we say is pi. All the way around is what we call 2 pi. Now, one thing I notice is this one is doing negative direction, right? So actually, I'm going to be going down in this direction, pi to 2 pi, right? 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi. Well, what they have is, you guys notice, they want us to evaluate a line that's over, over 4 pi, right? This is actually a pretty big, uh, pretty big number going in the negative direction. Well, the first thing I always like to do, guys, is I always like to look at my denominator and I like to split my half circle that big. Remember, pi, if I put it under my denominator, could be 2 pi over 2. So therefore, this would be pi over 2. So let's look at it this way. So that's pi over 2, 2 pi over 2. This would be 3 pi over 2. And then this could be 2 pi over 2 or 4 pi over 2, right? In the negative direction. Then I could go 5 pi over 2, 6 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, 8 pi over 2. 9 pi over 2, 10 pi over 2. You can obviously keep on writing this over and over and over again, right? So it's a 2 when you write it. Yes. But let's say you didn't have a unit circle, right? Let's say you don't have a unit circle and you don't want to write one up. What we can do is we can rewrite this in terms of pi. Because what they say is when we just go around the circle, I'm just back to where I started, right? I'm just doing extra work. It's redundant. We don't need to. If I go around the circle, it doesn't matter. We just want to know where am I going to end up, right? Yeah. So what is going around the circle all the way all the way is what we call 4 pi over 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say cosine, and I'm going to write it as a negative because we're going in the negative direction, okay? So this is going around the circle how many times? Once. Once, Once right? And then we could say uh, uh, plus... We can go around again. These two added up. Does it get me to 15 yet? No. No, but again, what am I doing? Went around the circle once. Went around the circle twice, right? Plus. Now I go around the circle three times, right? Have I still got to where 15 is? No, but what's going to be my remainder? Three, three. Negative three pi over two. Now, since all of these are just going around the circle, we just need to evaluate. We don't really care about these. We just really care about cosine of negative 3 pi over 2. So what's the cosine of negative 3 pi over 2? Well, here's 3 pi over 2 in the negative direction. So remember, this point is 0, 1. The cosine is going to be 0. All right? So like I said, guys, once you do enough of those, you can probably start, you know, calculating that in your head zero without having to draw the circle out. Yes? It's zero because cosine is x, right? Exactly. So whatever our remainder is, is uh... Yes, you, yes. You can think of it like your remainder off of that. 